Hey everybody, welcome back to the Secura D5S Drift Kit build. Today is Electronics Day. We're going to be putting everything that you see on the table here, well, minus the programming box, we're going to put everything else into the car and test it. So let's get started. So I have the Hobbywing X-Run 120 amp ESC. We have the programming box in case I need to make some adjustments to the settings. We have the AGFRC gyro, which is also where I got the servo, uh, if you've watched from previous videos. This is my most trusted shorty pack battery. It's an Orion uh, Carbon Pro. It's 110 Cs, so plenty of juice in this one. And we have the Surpass Hobby Rocket V3. This is a 10.5 brushless motor. And I have the Flight Sky transmitter and the receiver right there. So let's get started and put everything inside. Okay, this is everything that was in the box. So this is the ESC. And you can see the battery and motor wires already pre-soldered. The BEC is also here. Already has one fan installed and it comes with a second fan. And here the heat shrink with different colors. An extension to the receiver. A couple zip ties. Always have decals. And the instruction manual. And we'll go through this in a little bit. Alright, I brought back the manual to see what the sequence is and where they recommend we mount the electronics. So first we're going to start with the battery and then the motor and the ESC receiver and gyro um, kind of in sequence there. Okay so I just took a hand file and took about a millimeter off of each side and now it fits just fine. Nice and snug. All right, let's continue. Okay, really straightforward. We're going to start with the two screws at the bottom. We're gonna put the spacer on. And then the bracket's going to go on, and then the nuts are going to go on. All right, I did find thinner shorty pack batteries. Uh, Protec has one that is the same as this one, the high voltage one, and it's only 18.5 millimeter tall. So I'll order that and then throw it in here. But for right now, you can see I just put a couple pieces of foam to kind of push it down from the upper deck there. And it's, it's fine for now. It's very snug, it's not going anywhere. So let's just, Keep going. All right, next is to install the motor. The manual isn't super clear, but you should put on the, you should mount the motor before you put the pinion gear on. Otherwise, if there's no way to get it through. And we're gonna use these button heads. Okay, and that's where I have the motor mounted. I'm gonna have to shift this out a little bit to install the pinion gear. That's what it's gonna look like. I have a thin piece of paper right here to test the gear mesh. This should pass through. 
no problem. Okay, there we go. I think we have a good gear mesh right there. Okay, for this car, I'm going to use the 3M double-sided tape that was included. All right, real quick, I'm going to tape down the BEC as well. I'm going to have it go around this way so not to interfere with the battery cables. And I'm just going to tape it down right there, right in front of the ESC. Okay, next is the receiver, and it's going to go right here. So let me first do my normal wire fold. I never use the antenna uh, tube. I always just fold it up, shrink wrap it, and just glue it to the side of the receiver like that. Okay, it's nice and neat. Go ahead and drop it down right there. Okay, and lastly, we're going to put on the gyro. Just like that. Okay, and we have taped everything down.